welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another video as part of my palette collection series. So I had asked you guys a while ago on Instagram how you wanted me to film an updated palette collection. Did you guys want to see everything in one ginormous video or should I break it down into little bits? And most of you said you wanted to see little bits of my collection. So today I am doing another fun theme. This one is basically called palettes I don't even think you knew I owned because most of these palettes are some that have been sitting in my collection for a couple of months at least. I bought them thinking I was going to review them right away but then the next palette came along and it got shoved in a drawer and never talked about. And I have an astounding stack of them. It's a little bit embarrassing, but I thought it would be fun to show you guys these palettes in case there was one you were dying to hear my thoughts on. I could maybe work on testing them out. So it always helps me down in the comments if you let me know which palette you want me to go ahead and test out next. It's always helpful, especially if you guys see me doing hauls and stuff. Just let me know what you want to see a review from first. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay guys, I did want to go ahead and start this one off with a giveaway because like I said, I bought these palettes and I never talked about them on my channel. So I have these two guys from Coastal Scents. I'm going to go ahead and give away this one. This is the, I don't even know what this is called, the Jolie Col Colibri a specially chosen array of gentle and bold tone eyeshadows that together exemplify beauty and grace. Apply shades either dry for a subtle look or wet for a more intense color effect. I'm going to keep this one because this is the one I wanted and this is called the Jungle of Roar. It says make a roaring impact with these jungle inspired eyeshadows from neutral blues and greens to vibrant orange and pink shades. This amazing palette offers a wonderful combination of shadows for your next adventure. Apply shades either dry for a subtle look or wet for a more intense color. So this one I am going to keep because these shades speak to me on a personal level which is why I decided to buy it. And I actually saw Lucia talk about these palettes. I believe she had been sent them in PR and she was doing like a, I don't know, like one week one palette situation or one month one palette. And she was constantly showing the, that palette on her Instagram, which made me buy it. And then I had to, I think there was like a shipping minimum, so I bought two. And this one, when I saw it in person, really didn't seem like my vibe. So if you guys want to win this palette, as you can see, it is brand new. I have not swatched it or done anything with it. All you have to do is probably just go ahead and comment down below. Check the description box. I will leave the rules in the description box. So definitely go ahead and enter guys. I would like to get this palette into one of your hands because I love you guys and I appreciate the support. So thank you so much and uh, yeah, I'm going to stop blabbering now. But this is adorable. So if you want it, go ahead and check the description box for the rules and uh, yeah, we'll give that away. Now the other palette that I own that I don't think you guys knew I owned is the Beauty Bakery Ice Cream Palette. It's called the Neapolitan Ice Cream Palette. And I bought this because I am obsessed with makeup struggles. And she had talked about this palette and then I saw it on Forever 21's website and I was like, oh shit, I can buy it on Forever 21. So of course I bought it like a good, you know, Caucasian beauty guru. I was doing what makeup struggles told me to do and I bought the palette. And she doesn't even really like this palette so I'm like, why did I just do that to myself? So it's sitting in my collection. I hope to someday test it out. But honestly, I have their other palette, which I have used a few times, the one called Do It For The Gram. Not that impressive. Like, I know they're a black-owned, women-owned beauty company, so of course you want to support them. But I still want to support my wallet, too. And so this is definitely a splurge. I wouldn't recommend running out and buying it. Now, keep in mind, I've never used that particular palette, but I do have the other one. Not so great, so... We'll see how it goes when I eventually get to testing it. Now, this palette, this is an Angelica Nyquist Made Me Buy palette. I had seen this palette uh, a few times on the internet, and I actually have another, hold on. I have another palette from Pinky Rose. This is the one I actually first saw from them. I found them on Instagram, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, that palette is so freaking cool because it's like an all 
pinky palette which I am super into shades like this I love like a good berry a good pink and there's a huge blush in the middle so I thought these palettes were really cool I've never seen anything like this they have another one that's more like mustards and greens and I really want the other one too but this palette is like 21 bucks and it's from a brand I'd never freaking heard of so I caught this one on a sale and I bought it and then after I bought this one, again, it went into my drawer of deep, dark things that I forgot about, and I never really thought about it. And then I saw Angelica had gone to New York, and she bought this palette at Ricky's, and I was like, oh my god, look at that palette. Like, it's so freaking colorful. As you can see, brand new, never swatched. I bought this when I was in Sri Lanka because it was out of stock, and then Pinky Rose actually restocked it on their website so you bet your bottom dollar I was like on it and I bought it and I cannot wait to dig into this palette I just it's just here I have other palettes I need to test out but it is beautiful I am so excited that I have this guy and I will eventually play with this and review it for you okay this is quite a new palette in my collection so I'm not too mad that you guys haven't seen this on my channel yet this is the dragon child palette by makeup monster cosmetics this was actually available for pre-order so I ordered it because again it was a new indie brand that I had never really heard of and this palette is cool like it's definitely not like something I would be like whoa this is a Karen palette it's definitely not it's a little bit scary for me but I'm glad that it's scary for me because it's gonna get me out of my comfort zone there are two shimmer shades and the rest are matte shades so I'm really excited to play with this and it has a nice weight to it it definitely feels like there is some like some kind of metal because it's freaking heavy so very impressed with that palette so far I like the color story I cannot wait to play with that palette now here is one as well that I'm sure you guys didn't know I owned. This is the Persona palette by Sona Gasparian. She is a YouTuber, I believe. I've heard so many people talk about this palette. And it was in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty for $16. It was so affordable, I couldn't say no. So I bought it, but honestly, like, do these shades inspire me? Absolutely not. But have I heard a million people talk about how good this palette is? Yes. So. I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna test it out at some point it just it just hasn't happened yet but again like I said comment down below let me know which ones you want to see so I can prioritize better the next one I bought is this guy and I'm a little bit ashamed of this palette so it might go in a giveaway I'm not really sure but this is a palette by that habit called dream stay and I didn't think this was a dupe for anything which is why I bought it but actually somebody told me it's a dupe for the Fenty holiday palette didn't even put that connection together until somebody told me and then I was like fuck um, because I don't want to support a brand that's gonna like dupe everyone's everything so we'll see let me know do you guys want me to test it out it's an all shimmer palette I might just give this away honestly because I just don't support that brand um, but here are the shimmer shades and yeah I totally didn't put it together that it was a dupe of the Fenty palette which shows you guys how much attention I'm paying to the Fenty Christmas palette I literally saw it and I was like no thank you so yeah I feel a little silly that I bought that but you guys might see it in a future giveaway so my DSC you guys might profit from it here is another palette that I think some people actually know I have this palette but I'm so ashamed that I haven't played with it yet this is the Malika palette by the brand Blush Tribe they are an indie brand out of the UK I believe and she's actually friends with a lot of my YouTube friends, obviously, like, when I say friends, like, people on YouTube that I know. And so a lot of my YouTube friends have codes with this brand, and I am so ready to dig into this fucking palette. I just haven't had the time. Like I said, I have so many palettes, I never know which one to choose. A lot of people said this is, like, what they wish the Blood Sugar palette had been by Jeffree Star, which is also going to be in this video because I haven't played with it yet, but... Yeah, I'm so pumped that I have that, and the pigmentation looks to be amazing. So, really, really excited for that. Now, this is one of those palettes that I definitely bought, and I think I've had this for at least a year, and I have not reviewed it yet for you guys. This is by the brand Carity. I found this, again, on the internet, and I was like, cool, never heard of it, let me buy it. So, this is a peach palette. What do they call this palette? The Just Peachy palette. I think they have a few more palettes like you know with this like theme and it's a beautiful palette but again 
brand new, never been used. We'll see if I if I get to it. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. Does anybody else do this? Because I feel like I'm alone here. Now this one, again, a little bit psycho, but I bought it. I was not going to pay full price for this, but it was on sale when I bought it. It's the KKW Mario palette. I'm so excited to use this, but I want to wait so I could feature it in this video, and then I will play with this. I want to actually film a video with this just so you guys can see if it's actually worth the hype. Battled with picking it up for the longest time. I did know who to trust, and none of the YouTubers that I generally watch for good reviews bought this palette, so I wanted to buy it for myself, so I will definitely let you guys know what I think of it. Now, these palettes are pretty new in my collection, but I have been waiting for a long time. I remember when Trend Mood first talked about the Paleo palette. I wanted this, but I had never heard of this book this brand before so I didn't want to put the amount of dollars into getting this and then it sold out and the internet forgot about it I checked back on it periodically but they never restocked it so I was like oh bummer I guess I can't you know do it then I started watching Angelica's channel and she started talking about this palette and I was like fuck now I'm really pissed that I didn't get it but then they decided they were going to launch the Archeo palette and then that they were going to bring the Paleo palette back and you could get it in a bundle. And I was like, yes, please. So I actually very recently got these and I'm so excited to be featuring them on my channel. But I wanted to put them in this video because why the heck not? Here is one I've held on to for way too long as well. This is another brand I found on Instagram and this is called Glowed Up Cosmetics and it's the Into the Sun palette. This is so gorgeous. Look at this shade Cleopatra. It is so neon and these little bronzer highlight blush combo. Like I love palettes that are like dual purpose like this. So I've had this palette for at least a year now. It's kind of ridiculous. Like I need to stop doing this. I need to stop buying eyeshadow palettes and not using them. So uh oh, I just dug a finger into this. But yeah, I'm so excited to play with this palette. I totally forgotten how beautiful it was. So I'm gonna need to prioritize that. Here is a palette I bought because I was determined to try like every indie brand I came across. This is by the brand Sauce Box Cosmetics and it's called their Mermaid Life Palette. Honestly, this palette is kind of obnoxious, but I think I got it on sale and I thought they were going out of business for some reason. So I was like, let me just buy it. As you can see, this shade is a little bit broken, but that's okay. And it's basically an all shimmer palette, except this nude shade is a matte. So yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a clumsy palette, but it is cute if you guys are into like mermaids and shows like that. But yeah, I do have it, so if you guys want to hear my thoughts on it, definitely let me know in the comments. Okay, most of you probably know I have these palettes, but again, they're brand new. They've never been touched, so I wanted to feature them in this video. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth about buying this palette, and then Ulta sent me a 20% off coupon. It's like the stars aligned when I bought this palette, because I bought the Lemonade Palette off her website because I was so excited about the color story and then I got the 20% off coupon so I bought this then the lemonade palette came and it turned out there was something fucking wrong with the lemonade palette which they refunded me for and now I still have the latte palette and the lemonade palette I probably won't be reviewing the lemonade palette on my channel I really don't want to because I want to give that palette a fair shot if she relaunches them and I'm able to grab it I might but right now as you can tell I have so many palettes so I don't really need it uh, but I have this one and I will test this out. I am so interested in seeing her formula and hoping that everyone that raves about this palette was not wrong. And then I did buy the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette the same time I bought the Thirsty Palette on Beautylish. And honestly, I didn't give the Thirsty Palette a very good review. And a lot of you actually said the Blood Sugar Palette was much better and had a better formula. So I have decided to definitely try this out and see if I like it, but I got that was really scary to try and open. So this is what the inside of a blush sugar palette looks like. As you can see, it has not been swatched yet, but I'm very excited to play with this guy. So let me know if you have tried this palette, what are your thoughts on it? And do you think it's better than the Thirsty Palette? Because a lot of people in my Thirsty Palette review said that they actually liked the blood sugar palette more. Here is another brand that Angelica made me buy. This is the brand Certified. This is the Tropical Wonders palette. And this is, oh shit. Uh-oh. 
one of the shadows just came out. Thank God it didn't like explode. I just need to glue that back on there. This is a beautiful rainbow palette and Angelica has talked about this brand a lot, a lot, a lot. They have another palette that's newer than this one. I actually was on the pre-order for that, but they had a problem with the batch and they gave us the option of staying on the pre-order list or canceling the order. And I was like, honestly, I have so many eyeshadow palettes and I haven't even used your first one yet. So it's fine. Just give me my money back. I'll just test your brand off of this one. Again, these shades are gorgeous. They're all matte. I want to use this palette. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And this green shade is just like speaking to me. So I need to get on that. The next palette you probably didn't know I have is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. This palette, I've heard good and bad things about. They did reformulate it. And so I don't know if the first version was horrible, but I heard some people say good things about the second version. So I figured it was so affordable. I think it was like under $20, might have even been under $15. And I love the color story. Plus I love all the little eyeshadow pans and the fact that you get a variety of shades. So I decided to go ahead and purchase it. So I'm excited to test that out. Here are two palettes I've definitely had for at least a year. I feel like these are from the brand Zoeva. I used one of their other palettes that I got in a vault set type deal, but I have not touched this. This is the Blanc Fusion palette, which is like a yellowy palette, and this one is called the Caramel Melange palette, which is more of like that warm orange palette theme. So yeah, super cute packaging. Just need to test it. Have not tested it yet. This is so embarrassing. I showed you guys this on Instagram. She now has her second collab out with Ulta Cosmetics, and I haven't even tested the first one yet. This is Ulta Beauty's collab with Melissa Michelle. Again, this is a brand new palette. I bought this with a bunch of girlfriends because Ulta sometimes does a sale on the Ulta Beauty line where it's buy two, get two free. So these are $20 palettes, and if you buy four of them, each palette is $10, so it was such a good deal to split it between four friends. I had previously swatched this in the store and I thought it was an amazing formula. So it was very easy for me to convince my girlfriends to go in on this with me, but I have not used mine and I know my friends have and I know from the swatches it was amazing. I'm actually contemplating giving this away as well because I don't think there will ever be a time where I'll use it. So I feel like it's just being put to waste. So. Keep an eye out, definitely subscribe to my channel because as you can tell I have an eyeshadow problem and some of these eyeshadows just need to go to a loving home instead of slumming it here with me. This is another palette that Angelica made me buy. This is a Zuri palette by uh, Zuri Cosmetics. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the Zuri eyeshadow palette. And this is an African inspired eyeshadow palette. It's so, so stunning. Like. Give me a yellow and I'm here. Give me a glitter yellow and I'm here. Summer has just been all about the yellows for me. And I do love that electric blue shade also in here called Zuri. So I just need to test this palette out. And I've already heard nothing but good things about them. So I'm super happy to get this. They do go on sale quite often. Go ahead and follow them on Instagram. And I'm sure you'll be able to find that palette on sale. So the last palette you probably didn't know that I owned is the Blossom palette. This is another Angelica made me buy. And <laughs> it's another beautiful rainbow all matte palette and it's gorgeous. And I believe Kelly Gooch has this now and Paulina has this palette as well. So super duper pretty. They're all enjoying it and I need to as well. Okay guys, I hope that video was not too long. Thank you so much if you stuck with me till the end. Like I said in the beginning, we're going to go ahead and give away that one Coastal Sense palette. So go ahead and check the description box and go ahead and enter because I love saying thank you to my wonderful friends here on YouTube. Thank you guys again for watching this video. I will have a playlist showing the rest of my eyeshadow collection series for you guys. So I will go ahead and link it at the end of this video so you guys can check out some of the other videos from this eyeshadow palette collection series. I will catch you guys on my next video soon. And if you haven't subscribed already, I hope you will consider doing that. And we'll see you soon, guys. Bye.